Hi, how are you today? My name is Matt Remillard and this is an Ascension Media setup video. Now this is a quick tutorial on how to take a micro studio camera and hook it up to an ATEM system in such a way that you can use the camera control. Now, two things about this. First of all, we've always been able to use SDI cameras with HDMI. Um, you just get a converter that goes SDI to HDMI and it's great because the SDI camera goes, uh, the SDI cable can go a much longer distance. There really is no limit on SDI as long as it's reasonable. Um, but why is it that up till now, it's not really been great to use with the ATEM Mini system? And that's because if you are a user of camera control, it's a big deal. Um, I don't know how many times you've been in a service and you've had a issue where you need a camera to be a little bit brighter or you had an issue where you need to put something in focus that's not in focus. Maybe somebody set the focus wrong, um, but it's really kind of a game changer. So what I'm gonna do today is show you how you can take this camera, a micro studio camera, um, and this converter that Blackmagic has just released called the um, micro converter bi-directional SDI HDMI 3G. Um, here, I'll put it in focus for you. Um, how you can use these two items and get them set up so that you can still use uh, your camera control, which is huge, it's a game changer, especially if you have a lens with zoom. Uh, we'll get into that later. Um, and how you can use this converter and this camera to change your world in essence. So first note, is you're gonna need two SDI cables to go the full distance. So don't buy one, buy two. You need one to send data and you need one to receive data. This is pretty standard on CCU systems. And the second thing you're gonna need is the converter and then an HDMI cable. All right, here we go, let's jump in. So first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna make sure everything is set up correctly. So the first thing to set up is the micro studio converter. Now the first thing you need, I say first thing a lot, uh, the thing that you need is to know which input your camera is gonna be on. Now I know this is gonna be on input three on my switcher. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this converter, I'm gonna plug it in to USB that's connected to my computer because I need to tell this converter what number it is. So here we go, I'm hooked up by USB and I'm gonna go ahead and bounce to the computer. Uh, and I have the software package for this device. And the software is called Blackmagic Converter Setup, as you see here. Now you can see it says micro converter bi bidirectional SDI HDMI 3G. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on this right here. And I want this Atom, the ATEM camera ID to be three, because that's gonna be the third camera on my system. So we wanna go ahead and save that. Next thing that we have to do is actually in the uh, camera itself. So we're gonna disconnect this. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and directly connect to my camera because the HDMI port is the port on this micro studio camera and I'm gonna show you where it is. The HDMI port is the port that enables you to make changes in the settings. Now yet again, and I've done this already. I did a practice run through. I'm just showing you where it is. Um, so on my camera, you can see when you first jump into the menu, and I'll show you the buttons. Uh, here's your buttons that you're going to hit on your menu on your camera. So you hit menu, and that puts you in this menu. Now you're going to go up and down. It starts off here where it says camera information, and we set the video format earlier when we first set this up. But I want to go to setup and I wanna select the camera number. Now, what this does is this tells the ATEM software which camera this is, so that when we're in the software control, the tally will be correct, and it's also so that you can see which camera's on air properly. There's a lot of reasons to do this. So we go ahead and we select this, which I'll show you again. The select button is down here. And then you go ahead and adjust up and down. I'm gonna go back. Um, to camera three, that <laughs> wrong way, and enter. Now it's selected and now we can menu out and we could pull the HDMI. Okay, so as we go to start connecting the micro studio camera, there's a couple of tricky things that you have to be aware of. First of all, when you buy the gear 
As I said before, you have to have two SDI cables. You have to have one as an input, one as an output. Input is going to bring in your uh, data that's going to be used for changing your settings on your camera remotely. The, number, the other thing is your SDI out, of course, is going to be carrying video. So what you have to do is you have to buy these tiny little adapter cables because as you can see here, this is not your average connection. It is tiny. So what we're going to do is we're going to hook up output first. Then we're going to plug that in. Actually, we're just going to leave that to the side and we're going to hit input here. We're going to put them both side by side. And then, so the output of the camera goes to the input of your box. So this cable is input. So this cable goes to the input, which was running to the output. So output of camera to input of converter. And then the second cable now, we're gonna set this up. So input of camera goes to output of converter. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and check real quick and see what the input looks like. And there it is. I'm gonna go ahead and take that off cut. So normally when you have a camera, you have to go through here. You have to get your settings right. You have to change your focus right here. And then you have to go through all of your menus. Um, and in the menu, you have to adjust ISO. You have to adjust all those things. Well, that's why this is such a game changer. This camera can be up on stage and I can go ahead, jump right in And I can change the black level, the white level. I can even change ISO, which is labeled gain in broadcast cameras. There we go. I'm changing the gain. So I'm taking the gain up to, let's say I take it up to plus six. I can open up all the way the, um, the iris. And then I'm going to be able to go ahead and change black level and everything right here. I've got my white level or my gain, which is my high end increased. And then my gamma, my mid ranges. So now I just made all these changes. I can even change my white balance. I'm gonna bring my white balance down a little bit, a little bit away from that 5,500 mark to 49, as you can see. You can see the change that's making in the camera. This is the game changer. And not to forget, you can also change focus. I'll take my camera completely out of focus and then I'll hit the autofocus button and in the camera, it automatically searches the proper focus. So that is why this is such a game changer. You can change color in the camera. You can also, with one person at the helm, move these cameras around using a pan and tilt mo module, and these also come with zoom lenses. So let's go ahead and do that real quick. I will switch this to a zoomable lens, and I will switch right back. Okay, so here we go. I've actually switched to a lens that is zoomable. So as you can see here, you can actually push in the zoom section and pull and it zooms in and pulls out. Now these are, there are two lenses um, from the PZ line of Panasonic's Lumix, Lumix lenses. This specific lens that's on this camera right now is not the one I normally recommend for worship. The reason for that is it's a 14 to 42, which means unless you're about 20 feet away from the stage, this is not going to be the right lens for you. However, it's great for me uh, to show in these sort of demos, so I picked one up. Um, now, one of the best things about this lens is if you have it set somewhere, um, maybe with a pan and tilt module, um, like a best core or something like that, you can reposition your shots and then zoom to a specific item. And then you could actually, uh, once you've zoomed in, you could set your focus. Thank you so much for watching this Ascension Media tutorial video today. We hope this has helped you. It's cleared some stuff up for you. If you have any further questions or concerns or maybe anything that didn't get answered or you just like to make a comment, please leave that in the comments below. Um, thank you again for watching and have a wonderful day. And I hope this helps you in your ministry.